Hey, what's going on? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Now, I am just changing out our air hose here. We have a 3 8 line. And here is my old one. You can see that it's starting to bubble, right? Uh, starting to get soft, and I've been wanting to change it out. It's not leaking yet, but I figured, you know, let's change it before it pops while I'm painting. All right, that's gonna be a big issue. So, and also I've, I was having a little issues with the old coupling here. Um, it was at times my DA would just pop right out and it would just, psh, air would come out. So this sucker is getting a little old as well. So we're gonna replace this uh, as well. All right, so I got our new hose here. And again, this is a 50 foot line here uh, of a Goodyear, Goodyear hose line, you can see that's the line okay um i could repair it so i'm gonna i'm not gonna throw it out i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna slice snip it back here and if i ever needed a hose extension around the house or whatever i'll be able to connect it and make a hundred foot if i ever need it you know if i need air on the other side of the property or whatever um, i'll have it so you could absolutely cut this put a little repair kit in it and attach and do what you got to do to to basically salvage the line because the rest of it is good there's no issues with it okay so um what brand is this i got this off of amazon i think it was like giraffe giraffe tools 50 foot line for under 30 bucks shipped not too bad at all um and it's a it's a special lightweight hose which is pretty cool it's very light and flexible so we're gonna test this out they said you know it's okay in colder temperatures as well so what I'm gonna do now is just get our plumbers tape um, and just put a couple of rounds of plumbers tape on here and remember when doing this you want to go clockwise because that's the way you're gonna be screwing on your fitting right so super easy again this is a 3 8 line with a quarter inch fittings at the end. So let's just say we wanna put this on, okay? I might have to squeeze this back so I can grab that. Okay, and this is gonna be our, our main connection. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, now I just gotta tighten that up. Um, Okay, this is not the size. So anyway, let's go ahead and put this side on where it attaches to our water filter. And then we're just gonna give everything a quick snug and then we're good to go. All right, so again, you wanna go clockwise, All right? I'm gonna have to snag this, snug it up off camera quick, but I just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview really, really quickly. Um, if you have a small shop, you know, like a home setup like what I have here, 50 foot is usually all you need. Um, I need a larger wrench for this here, but let's just hand snug it. I think we should be good. This is going to hook up right in here like this. Okay. Now again, I have to tighten this up, double tighten it up. All right, pretty simple. So that's pretty much the setup. Um, off camera, I'm gonna give this a good snug really quickly. Uh, but we got our new line hooked right in here to our Ingersoll Rand water filter. 
Um, I like to have, you can see, uh, about 150 PSI. It's set at, right now it's off, okay? But it usually stops at about 150 PSI. And we have about 10 foot of line coming out. This should be straight, okay? But I've never had an issue with it. This collects the water here. Uh, it was actually just, it was at full. I just kind of purged it out. I have 80 pounds set here. So I know I got fully all the time, 80 pounds of air in my line. Okay, and then when I adjust my spray gun settings, I adjust it at the spray gun. But I know I have enough, more than enough air to do what I gotta do here um, at the shop. And, and then I got this new line here. And then this basically will salvage um, I can cut that. I'm just going to roll it up and put it away for now. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Guys, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And if you're totally brand new, subscribe to this channel. We got new weekly videos. Also, click the link right over here to get a free 85-page auto body and paint manual. I think you're going to like it. It's going to give you a ton of tips. And this is the site that you got to go to. Yeah, to get your free book and learn more about auto body. Have a great day, guys. Thanks. Bye.